would like to welcome you to Rio and Soima 2007 and hope you will have a great time among us. that you will have a really pleasant stay and you learn and you, you at the end of the course you achieve what you have set out your your personal objectives are achieved and we hope that you go back with the knowledge that you wish to gain and the skills that you wish to enhance and uh, one thing I would like to really underline here is that all of you bring diverse experiences very different experiences different challenges different connections you will have this uh, very good opportunity which is only provided by these kind of international courses or the courses that Ekron does is that to have this kind of an exchange with each other but I'm sure you will carry very big, uh, very long lasting memories and hopefully a healthy network of friends with that with you. Some samples of different 35 millimeter films. A number of uh, reel to reel tapes. These are, this is the, the classic quarter inch tape. I see this up quite You can, you can, excuse me. Sorry. 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 Perfect. Well, the gas is 
So there's different sides on this one as well? Pardon? Is there different sides on this one as well? This is, yeah, this is... Uh, Last night at dinner, we were talking about Herzog. Uh, talking about what? Werner Herzog. This is analog metadata. The analog versus the digital work process and how much they could save in time and energy. Because analog record, audio recording has uh, been trucked from the industrial production process of the phonographic industry. Therefore, it is not easy to find the sketches. Silver ions. Those have a tendency to be a molecule. Digital requires a whole new way of looking at preservation. We have very little worry about the original. Our formats and our hardware frequently become obsolete. Modified them to be everything. Something like that. <laughs> I need to be there because there is no one around me. I'm alone. So I have to be everything. So what do I do? When I have a new well, book, I can find it. Is it part of your job at this war? So you know they are working properly. Because this is certain time, certain temperature, it's moving by the machine. By the motor. That doesn't mean it's getting any more stable, just because it's getting smaller. It can hold a lot more data, but they're, they're still very fragile. I might do this thing that breaks all the time. It drives me crazy. Because I'm a specialist in some devices and some recordings, and I exchange a lot of information with some other guys from the sound field. So, if you are here at the National Institution, and you have to make decisions on what to preserve. You have to think very carefully on this. Identity and context. I may be manager internal because I'm managing um, material and I'm trying to figure out how to safeguard these materials. It's very expensive not only to implement but to maintain this is a whole body of evidence, a whole set of evidence, and your role is to guarantee that that evidence is authentic. We try to do the job, and we are doing it in this way. Okay, try to do the job we're doing as best we can, best way. Also, generally, you could replay magnetic tape in a well maintained machine for several hundred times without any significant de deterioration of the carrier. You can, you could even destroy the carrier by an ill-serviced machine. I want to refer back to some slides which Howard have been showing to us. To prove our existence. It regards us. You want to be here, you want to leave a footprint. You don't want to just disappear. That makes sense.
It's like taking chance on certain things that we are not certain of and that can go wrong. Right? This is, I, I think this is a common notion of risk towards realizing potential opportunities whilst managing adverse effects. So this is the risk management. And we ask ourselves, in this period of time, how much loss the collection will suffer. While you're doing that, there is a monitoring and review part here. So you monitor and review all the steps. And there's a big communication block here to communicate with all the actors involved. So this is the structure. But the idea is the four groups work for 30 minutes in each one of the four spaces to identify risks. So the three risks the group uh, was given. The group will choose one specific polluted risk. As I said, for each agent there might be, normally there are many different specific risks. So it's up to the group to pick up the, the one that is perceived at that time as the most uh, relevant. Are agents to identify risks for the cities where temperatures <coughs> Incorrect temperature, incorrect relative humidity, and tests. So there was a risk of uh, deformation and breakage. Here, is, it is maybe a deshumidifier. Yeah. Yeah. Then the water comes to here, then here you have <laughs> Expert here said the collection in 50 years, 40% of the, 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 all the films will be affected by the vinegar scene with a full loss of, of value for each affected artifact. Photos taken a lot. I'm sure you've noticed Fabiana around here doing what she's doing right this very moment. And she's not the only one. There's a whole team of people that's been photographing you. So they're, and most of it is in digital form. And who's going to preserve these things? E esse grupo visita hoje a Rádio MEC, naturalmente, a Rádio MEC uma rádio também que, que preserva a cultura brasileira de... Dietrich. Dietrich. É, o que, que ele faz lá? Qual o tipo de pesquisa que ele faz? Na, ele, ele, ele é da Áustria, né? Isso. Na Áustria. Que tipo de pesquisa ele faz na Áustria? What kind of research do you do there in Austria? I'm in charge of a audiovisual research archive. Ele... É, aqui no Brasil, aqui no Rio de Janeiro, ele já está há quanto tempo? Uh, how, uh, how long are you here in Brazil? Uh, just for 
10 days. 10, 10 dias, 10 dias. O que é que desde ele, que começou. O que, que ele viu aqui, se entusiasmou e se empolgou aqui what com a you, cultura brasileira? O que você viu aqui que te fez uh, entusiasta sobre a cultura brasileira? Isso é... This is now a tricky question yeah. because I've been so engaged in the course yeah. that I had very little <laughs> chance to to see Brazilian mm, culture. Yeah, this is my first visit to this country, uh, but I saw so much of the Brazilian culture that I want to come back. Yeah. Be assured. Que <laughs> bom. Now you will be learning about how others are dealing with these similar problems in various parts of the world. So with this, we start our <coughs> mini conference, which is on the title of Sound and Image Collections, Current Challenges and Strategies for the Conservation and Use. So the only way forward to rescue such endangered audiovisual heritage, like the one at my museum, is by transferring the contents from one carrier to another. In addition to lack of qualified staff at my museum, there are no machines or equipment, if you like, to use to transfer contents from the analog to the digital type. I'm going to talk about dissociation. How do you keep track of, uh, of the items in our collection? So it's a very mixed collection. Um, we store them at uh, about five different places in our museum. So dissociation is a very common problem for us. Um, uh, in order to develop a long-term preservation plan, we uh, did a uh, commission survey uh, of, this, uh, of this collection and a risk assessment. Um, we looked at how often or how soon does a risk uh, occur, so... Uh, about challenges, uh, whether you're in a first world country or second world, uh, third world country, you will always have uh, a limited budget because archives is always placed at a low, at a low priority in the organization. Uh, this diagnosis will reveal what our collection is, how it is, and what we need to do to improve the storage conditions. A long-term challenge is the amplification of the storage area. The National Archives of Zimbabwe is mandated to acquire, preserve, and provide access to documentation in whatever format which comprises a legal and historical record of Zimbabwe's past and present. Uh, the, major, the major challenges that we face as an archive is the lack of formal training on proper preservation and provision of access to audiovisual material. We also face problems of finance. Uh, financial constraints make it difficult for us to implement proper preservation strategies. And the current challenge we have, I think most of all have the same challenge, the maintenance of physical and intellectual integrity uh, and the continued access, yes. I, I suggest some actions, what we should do first, to select, that's a great problem for us too, the steps before digitization and uh, the funds, that's another problem. But we have two main problems. First one, not enough technical and specialized staff to achieve the digitization. And the second problem, lack of virtual space to store the digital files, especially to manage the movie image, which require a lot of space and hard disk. Our current challenges are an absence of a preservation policy for these records. There is no plan in place for proper management and control including preservation and storage for such records.